Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform MPV calculations, net present value calculations. I'm going to show you two functions that will allow you to do this. The first is called MPV and the second is called XNPV. MPV you want to use where your cash flows are regularly spaced at the end of each period, for example, at the end of each year. XNPV you will use where you don't have regularly spaced cash flows and you want to specify particular dates. Okay, let's look at the MPV scenario first of all. So in column D, I've got my initial outlay and they're expressed as negative figures. And then I've got 10 years of cash flow for each project. Most of them are positive cash flow figures, but some are negative. Now my discount rate I've entered here as 10%. So in B4, I'm going to use the MPV function. And the first argument is rate. So that's your discount rate. And I've entered that into B1. I do need to lock the reference to that cell because I'm going to be copying the formula down. And I've used F4 to do that. The F4 key at the top of my keyboard. If F4 doesn't work for you, just type the dollars in as you see them there. Comma. Now for value one, what you need to do is select all of your cash flow values. Don't include your initial outlay. Now that assumes that the cash flow items are in consecutive cells. If that isn't the case, what you can do is select one of the cash flow items, type a comma, and then select the next. And you can see you can keep using these value arguments to include those non-consecutive values. Now that's not the case for me. All I need to do is select this range. Then I'd close the bracket, and then I'd have to add my initial outlay, which is a negative value and that will give me my MPV value. So if I copy this down, it'll do so for the other projects. So MPV assumes that the cash flow occurs at the end of each period. So for us, that's the end of each year. Now, if you have cash flow items on specific dates, then you have to use the XNPV function. So these are irregularly spaced dates, unlike in my first example. So let's see how this function works. So my rate is my discount rate, which I'm holding in B1, and I need to lock that cell reference again. And in the values argument, I need to select all of the cash flow items plus the initial outlay. So that would be this range of sales here. And then in the dates argument, you need to select all of the dates that correspond to these cash flow values. So again, I'm including the date of the initial outlay. Now I will need to fix that reference to the dates. I've used F4 again to do that. And I close the bracket and I press enter. And if I copy this down, I get my MPV values. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.